I did an unboxing video for this, but I rambled on a little too much, so this is going to be an unboxing where I don't actually take any shrink wrap off. And this is for Arkham Horror's latest expansion, made by Fantasy Flight Games for the Call of Cthulhu universe, and it is the Miskatonic Horror expansion. Now this is, uh, even though it's a big box expansion, the Arkham Horror series. It doesn't come with a board and this is really an expansion for uh, to enhance a lot of the rest of the things that have already come out for the game. There's a few new things in it. There's uh, your gate cards. Good little chunk of gate cards. There's your mythos cards that come with the thing with this expansion that are exclusive to it, but you also get some game aids that come with it. You get some uh, quick reference sheets to kind of help you out with the limits that are set on the board depending on uh, how many players are out. They let you know how many open gates, how many monsters can be present on the board, and they're all double-sided, so you get four of those cards. So you get all those stat numbers from one to eight without having to look back to your rule book all the time. You get a Dunwich Horror reference card. I believe that's a uh, ancient one card. That's the only ancient one card you get. And then you get some of these organizations that can be used to help you. And these are new from the Miskatonic expansion. You get the Bureau of Investigations, Miskatonic University, and Organized Crime. But the majority of the rest of these are cards that go with other expansions to give uh, some new variability to those. Let's see these cards in particular work with Lurker at the Threshold. You get a handful of those. These work with Ends Mouth Horror. These what do these work with? These work with Dunwich Horror. These work with Kingsport Horror. These work with a King in Yellow. And you get a bunch of new location cards that work with uh, locations from all the standard boards and they work with all the expansions. You get uh, 80 from Kingsport, 60 from Men's Mouth. 60 for Dunwich. I don't see where you... Maybe there's not any for the base game in here. These are some more epic battle cards that go with Kingsport. But you get a huge chunk of location cards to work with all the rest of the expansions. So... Really, if you don't have the majority of the other expansions, you may not get the full use of this box. And you also get some tokens that come with it. And one little sheet of small tokens. And you share a reference to tell you what all those pieces go to, which game they belong, or which expansion that they would be used with. A breakdown of how they would integrate into those other expansions or just the base game and then you get the rules for the few things that come exclusive to this new mechanics or pieces that work with this to show how they would work either by themselves or with expansions that they would enhance so not as much in this really as you can get in one of the other big boxes for it but you uh could probably really make use of it if you have all the rest of those expansions. I will uh, probably do another video where I store how I have, I think there's only one expansion for this I don't have now, and that's the King in Yellow. And I have two more to unbox after this. And after that I'll do a video where I kind of show how I have all this stuff sorted, separated, so you can integrate one to the next, or just use the base game if you wanted to. But that's it for this one.